So there is no uh, consensus recommendation for the management of metastatic cervical cancer beyond first-line therapy with um, a chemotherapy and bevacizumab. Um, pembrolizumab is now approved for the management of uh, PD-L1 positive cervical cancer. Um, and there's numerous preclinical studies which have looked at the use of radiation therapy um, in combination with uh, immune checkpoint inhibitors to potentially improve the uh, response rate of those agents. Um, so the goal of this study is to see whether or not we can improve the response rate of atezolizumab in patients who have metastatic, recurrent, or persistent cervical cancer um, with the combination of radiation therapy compared to patients who are treated with atezolizumab alone. So this is a trial in progress abstract um, that was presented at ASCO this year. This is a phase two study that's open at Moffitt Cancer Center, um, enrolling patients who have metastatic recurrent or persistent cervical cancer, um, who have greater than or equal to two sites of disease. Uh, patients go on to receive stereotactic body radiation therapy in 24 gray and three fractions, followed by atezolizumab at Q3 week intervals or tecentric. Uh, patients are then followed up um, to see whether or not um, they are responding to treatment. Um, and there's a number of uh, correlative endpoints as well, too, uh, including blood and tissue biomarkers that we're assessing as well, too, to see if we can identify responders to therapy.